Good evening and welcome to Selection Sunday, where today, the day, Sunday, March 12th, 2023, the NCAA bracket will be revealed, already has been revealed, depends on when you're watching it, on the East Coast or West Coast, but without further ado, I'm going to go into each matchup and and describe who I think will be the winner, coming out with my national championship predictions, snubs, all that stuff. You won't want to miss it. Tune in right now. All right, let's start with the first four. I got my uh, printable cheat sheet here, printable bracket, so I'm going to be reading off this a little bit here. We got the uh, Texas A&M CC versus Southeastern Missouri State in the first four. Now, those are two 16 seeds. I don't really know that much about them. Um, Going off ESPN stats here, it looks like Philip Russell is their leading scorer for Southeastern Missouri. And then Texas A&M, CC Travion Tenyanson is their leading scorer, averaging about 18 and 15 respectively for their teams. Um, I mean, first four, you, you, they probably got their automatic qualifier bid winning their conference, which gets them an automatic trip to the NCAA tournament, um, which is good. For them, but then of course they gotta. If they win, they gotta play the one seed, which is a, a sincere and sincere loss there, pretty much, unless you're UMBC. But now these teams aren't UMBC, so I'm just gonna go off the cuff here and go with the better team there, uh, Southeastern Missouri State. I will go with. Um, they will move on to the tournament, uh, and then we got Texas Southern versus Fairly Dickerson Dickinson. Um, you know, two more 16 seeds. I think I'm going to go Texan Southern because of their uh, recent success in the tournament a few years ago. They won, they won again, and then they won again. So I'm going to go with Texas Southern there to advance. And then these games are all on Tuesday before the tournament even starts. So depending on when you watch it, they start Tuesday. And then the um, more intriguing games are Arizona State and Nevada. That's That game's on Wednesday. Uh, should be a good one there in in um, where is it at UD Arena, you know in uh, Dayton, Ohio. That's going to be a good game, as I mentioned. Arizona State, Nevada, two games, two teams, and not really in playoff contention there. Desmond Cambridge, he he kind of carried the Sun Devils this year, and he will carry them again to a win. So I think Arizona State will win that game. And then we'll see for the last for the first four, we got Mississippi State and Pittsburgh. I think Pitt gets the job done. They coming off a down year, coming back in the ACC, they get the job done in Dayton. So, Alabama versus Southeastern Missouri State. I'm going to have Alabama win that game. Uh, Maryland, or, well, I guess, let me go. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Alabama. They're, they're, they got... The best player in college basketball, freshman-wise, that's going to go into the NBA draft this year. Brandon Miller, he's a stud. Um, he's going to be projected NBA lottery pick. If it wasn't for Wembenyana or Scoot Henderson, he'd be number one. He's, I think Alabama, spoiler alert, is going to win the whole thing. So I got him, obviously, winning the whole thing. So Maryland and West Virginia, I have... Maryland winning that game just because of their ball handlers. West Virginia likes to press. Full court press means got from one end down to the 94, defending 94 feet pretty much. So I think Maryland with their ball handlers will get past the press and they will win that game. San Diego State, Charleston. I think the 5-12 upset will happen there. Charleston will beat San Diego State. Uh, and that's what I'm calling right there. Virginia Furman. I think Furman gets the job done. Another upset. Because of Virginia's injury, Ben Vanderplas, um, he's just a critical guy there, and I don't think he's going to get be come back with his broken hand that he just injured this week. So I don't think he's coming back. I think Furman gets the job done. Virginia is a first-round exit. Creighton and NC State. It's going to be a good game. I think Creighton gets the job done. Uh, Baylor and USC, UCSB, Baylor gets the job done. Missouri and Utah State, intriguing 7-10 match there. I think uh, Missouri gets the job done because of their length over um, 
Utah State, and they play in a better conference. They, they're they used to all these conference games that come out and are going to be coming out ready to go. 7-10, 7 wins the game there. Arizona-Princeton, the 2-15 game. I think Arizona gets the job done, and that bracket is all set for the South region. Purdue-Texas Southern. I think Purdue-Texas Southern... Might be a little better than you think, but eventually Zach Eady will take over and Purdue will win that game. Memphis and Florida Athlet- F- Florida Atlantic. I got Florida Atlantic winning that game against Memphis. Uh, upset there, 31-3 and for Florida Atlantic. Pretty good team, pretty good game. I think Florida Atlantic will get it. Duke and Oral Roberts. Wow, what a game there. Uh, I think this whole tournament has good games, except for the lower seeds. But, you know, Duke and Oral Roberts... Classic showdown. Max A. Smith, the like, leading scorer for college basketball for Oral Roberts versus Duke. A bunch of underclassmen, freshmen, my age, playing in college basketball. New coach. I think Duke gets the job done, but it won't be close. Or it will be close, I mean. Tennessee, Louisiana. Louisiana gets the job done there because of Tennessee's injury to their point guard, their leader, uh, he tore his ACL a few weeks ago, so now he's out for the rest of the season. I think Louisiana gets the 13-4 upset there. Kentucky Providence. You know, funny storyline there. A guy on Providence is named DeAndre, uh, or not DeAndre, Bryce Hopkins. And he transferred from Kentucky to Providence, and now he's coming back to play Coach Cal. And that'll be a good game there. Uh, but Kentucky gets the win. I thought long and hard about that one, but Kentucky gets the win there. Kansas State, Montana State. Kansas State should be a no-brainer there. Michigan State, USC. Um, I think Michigan State gets the job done, but it depends on if A.J. Hogard comes out to play well. If he doesn't come out to play well, then I think USC wins. But it, it all depends on the the, uh, the timing of when it comes out. And we do have home field advantage there. Playing in Columbus, USC traveling from California, so... Should be an easier matchup than you think, but you never know. Marquette over Vermont, and that is the East bracket. Houston over Northern Kentucky, starting the Midwest bracket. Iowa over Auburn, that'll be a classic of a game. Uh, Keegan, or not Keegan Murray, Chris Murray, Keegan's brother, Chris Murray, will show out in that game, and he will score at least 30 points against Auburn's defense. Drake will beat Miami. Of Florida because of the 12-5 upset. There's usually always a 12-5 upset, even sometimes multiple 12-5 upsets. So I got Drake over Miami. Indiana over Kent State. Iowa State over Mississippi State or Iowa State over Pitt. I'm sorry, I had Pitt over Mississippi State in the last in the first four. So I'm gonna have Iowa State over Pitt. Uh, that is a tough game. Iowa State kind of struck coming into the tournament struggling. That's why they're a six seed. So that'll be a tough game and interesting to watch. Xavier over Keensaw State. Uh, Penn State over Texas A&M. Penn State just got to the Big Ten final. Lost to Purdue, but they almost came back and won that game. So I think Penn State could make a run, at least to the Sweet 16 second weekend kind of team. Texas over Colgate. And that wraps up the Midwest bracket. So on to the final bracket here, the West bracket. We got Kansas over Howard. I think Kansas versus Bama in the national championship. As I said, Bama will win. So there's a sneak peek of that bracket. Uh, Arkansas will lose to Illinois. Just watching Illinois in the Big Ten with Michigan State. They're a good team. They just lost her point guard. So, But they're still a good team. I think Illinois will at least be a second weekend team. Or no, they won't be a second week weekend team because of how they got seeded. They're not beating Kansas. So they'll win that game, but they'll lose the next one. VCU over St. Mary's in another 12-5 upset. Uh, VCU has some studs. They just don't get recognized because they're in a weaker conference and that kind of self-explanatory there. Weaker conferences don't get recognized. UConn over Iona, but should get, should be a good game with the coaches. TCU over Arizona State. Arizona State going back to the first four with Nevada, and Arizona State wins that game, but then TCU beats Arizona State in the uh, round of 68. So 
That is my prediction there. We got Gonzaga, Grand Canyon. Excuse me. I think Gonzaga wins that game single-handedly. Grand Canyon, they have a few good players, but they're they're kind of not matched against Drew Timmy. So Drew Timmy will carry their team, spice it up a little bit, and he'll win that game single-handedly. Northwestern over Boise, I have. Northwestern in the Big Ten, like I said, with Michigan State. Watching them, they're a fun team to watch, so... Uh, go Wildcats. And then finally, UCLA over UNC Asheville. And they're going to make it to the Elite Eight. So it'll be a good game there. And that's my bracket predictions for the South, East, Midwest, and West. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let's get ready for some madness.